While today you might want to visit Louisiana to soak up its incredible jazz scene or feast on some crawfish, it wasn't always such a hot spot on the map. Known for its dark past, there is no surprise it's got a few skeletons in its closet haunting residents and visitors alike. So if you are planning on taking a trip, just do me a favor and avoid these spots cause today I've got the top 10 terrifying places in Louisiana you should never visit. Let's get started. Starting us off at number 10, The Hanging Jail. Actually called the Beauregard Parish Jail, it opened in 1915 and it was actually kind of a big deal because it had extraordinary amenities for a jail. Each cell had a window and a bathroom and cells on the top floor even had a skylight. But despite its beautiful architecture, it was also the site of Louisiana's first double execution. In 1926, two men were committed after killing and robbing a taxi driver and sentenced to be hanged. They claimed innocence but still the verdict passed and the two men died in the jail, giving it the infamous name. It remained open until 1981 and now a museum, it's believed to be haunted by the two men along with other inmates who felt they were unjustly put behind bars. Many have reported being pushed or hearing voices while visiting and some have even captured photos of strange, inexplicable, shadowy figures lurking on the porch and window, leaving no other explanation than to assume the jail remains a haunted and terrifying place to visit. Coming in at number 9. Pleasant Hall. This story has two versions, so I will let you decide which one you think is true. Once upon a time, while attending the Louisiana State University, a resident tragically took her life in the now infamous room 312. One story says the girl killed her boyfriend in a fit of rage and then, shocked at her actions, took her own life because she could not live with what she had done. The other story claims the girl jumped out of the window of her room and fell to her impending doom, terrifying the students on campus that witnessed the horrifying sight. But which one really happened? Well, it seems that is the hard part to find out. But what's not difficult to know is that the spirit of the girl remains, haunting Pleasant Hall to this day. Students have reported seeing her ghost roam the campus and hearing strange noises coming from the other side of room 312. And sometimes at night, when you least expect it, the door to room 312 will open and and shut all on its own. Coming in at number 8, St. Louis Cemetery number 1. Regarded as the city of the dead, the St. Louis Cemetery number 1 holds more ghost stories than you'd want to encounter in a lifetime. In the span of a mere block, the cemetery has over 700 tombs and over 100,000 bodies are known to be buried at the site. Most famously, it is the burial site of Voodoo Queen Marie Laveau, the most revered and feared practitioner in New Orleans history. Reports of her ghost have detailed her in her signature red and white turban and claim she will suddenly appear out of nowhere and then vanish from plain sight just as fast. Visitors have experienced scratching, pinching, shoving, suddenly becoming ill and even hearing her haunting voice echo across the cemetery, sending many that have dared to visit running for the hills. So just be careful if you choose to stop by. If you aren't careful, she could curse you for Life. Next up at number 7, the Calcasia Courthouse. The history of capital punishment is a torrid one, and as it turns out, this courthouse is actually famous for just that. Back in the 1940s, there was a woman named Tony Jo McHuston. She lived quite a tumultuous life involved in drugs and her local brothel, but one day she fell in love with a man who frequented her establishment named Claude Henry. And so they got married and she started to really turn her life around. But after Claude was sent to jail for 50 years for killing someone, something inside Tony snapped. She planned to bust Claude out of jail with a friend, but in the process of stealing a car, killed the owner and left him in a ditch. She was caught and sentenced to death and would become the first first ever woman to be executed by the electric chair in Louisiana. It said her spirit still haunts the courthouse, locking doors and messing around with the filing systems during the day. But steer clear at 
night. As residents report, you can smell her burning hair and hear her unruly screams echo through the streets. Coming in at number six, Pea Farm. Nicknamed the Pea Farm, it is not actually a farm nor does it have anything to do with peas. It is, however, an old abandoned prison. The facility was in operation between 1905 to 1950, and rumor has it that life was incredibly rough and difficult at the pea farm for prisoners, even more so than your typical prison. Beatings and lashings were commonplace, and even killing of prisoners was nothing to bat an eye at. So it's no surprise that those whose life may have ended here have stuck around, maybe trying to seek revenge on those who hurt them. Today, the prison is strictly off limits to visitors, but those that walk past have reported hearing shrieks and other strange noises coming from inside the abandoned building. Maybe no one is allowed for a good reason. Next up at number five, Bonnie and Clyde's ambush site. Maybe you've heard of the infamous couple, but just in case you haven't, let me catch you up. They were notorious bank robbers across Louisiana and Texas during the Great Depression in America and made quite a name for themselves. In recent years, it has been suggested their exploits were exaggerated, but one thing that wasn't is how they died. The day was May 23rd, 1934, and police from both Louisiana and Texas managed to corner them in their stolen car. Authorities fired more than a hundred bullets at the couple, and as the story goes, you could hear Bonnie's scream from the next town over. Residents claim that if you visit the site of their death, the ghosts of the couple will make themselves well known to you. Apparitions have shown in photographs, and some have even heard what they believe to be Bonnie's scream as she took her last few breaths on this earth. Coming in at number four, Oak Alley. Once upon a time, it was one of the largest plantations in Louisiana, and just like every other of its kind, it has a dark past. Since its dark days, it has turned into a bed and breakfast and historical site, but the people that were tortured remain, haunting the ground and terrorizing visitors. Numerous accounts have claimed to hear unexplained sounds like blood curdling screams in the middle of the night or the sound of a horse drawn carriage clopping along the path. Some visitors have have even experienced being touched or grabbed by an unseen entity, and one investigator got so scared he dropped his camera while trying to capture a spirit. Paranormal investigators have managed to capture several EVPs that indicate unhappy ghosts lingering the property, and though no one has been hurt staying here yet, tread carefully as you never know just when you could set the spirits off. Coming in at number three. Alice's grave. Alice died in the 19th century, and although she had a fairly normal life while alive, her death and afterlife were anything but expected. She was laid to rest in an above ground grave, but soon after, many of the townspeople began to question was the grave haunted, or worse? Was Alice a witch? As the legend goes, in the middle of the night, the large slab of marble covering her grave was removed on three separate occasions, and each time, her remains were left outside the grave. No one stepped forward admitting to have moved Alice or the slab, which led people to believe that Alice was a witch trying to escape her grave and haunt the town. Eventually, large iron bars were placed over the grave in an attempt to hold her spirit inside. But this hasn't seemed to stop her as locals claim you can still see her wandering the cemetery at night. But just exactly what is she looking for? That is one of the many unanswered questions that leave visitors terrified, unsure if she comes in peace or if she is out for revenge. Next up at number two, the Manchac Swamp. While many are familiar with the legendary voodoo priestess Marie Laveau, she was not the only one of her time. Julia Brown was a well respected healer and midwife who resided in a small village called Frenier. At first, she loved caring for her village, but after some time, she started to feel disrespected by her community, feeling as though they were taking her gifts for granted. Julia began scaring the village, telling them dooming predictions about their impending deaths, and the townspeople, unsure if she was placing a curse or foretelling their future, became very troubled. Shortly before her own death, she said, one day I'm gonna die and I'm I'm gonna take all you with me. And just days 
after she was buried, three entire villages were destroyed by a hurricane and hundreds of lives were lost. To this day, many believe the spirit of Julia Brown haunts the swamp and visitors have reported hearing blood curdling screams and the sound of her voice singing cryptic and frightening songs, terrifying all those that dare walk by. And last up in our number one spot, La Lorie Mansion. Arguably one of the most infamous buildings in all of Louisiana, La Lorie Mansion was once home to the cruel and torturous Madame Delphine La Lorie. Even in her time, she was regarded as a monster and was known to have her slaves taken from her on more than one occasion due to their outrageous mistreatment. In 1834, a fire broke out in her mansion, and when police and fire marshals arrived at the site, they found one of her slaves chained to the stove, claiming to have started the fire to try and take her own life to escape the cruelty. Another seven victims were found in her attic, suspended from the ceiling, mutilated and barely alive, stating to have been imprisoned for months. Once news broke out of her cruelties, citizens attacked the house and demolished everything they could. While the original building no longer stands, the grounds it stood on are some of the most haunted in all of Louisiana, as it's believed nearly 100 people lost their lives under Madame Delphine's cruel supervision. Visitors have reported feeling the violent touches of ghostly hands, and a medium that visited stated that there is a very dark demonic entity that resides within the building's walls. So just tread carefully, should you choose to visit, the spirits that live there are not too thrilled by visitors in their home. There you have it guys, I'm Kennedy, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.